All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo Chromebook. Um, I'm not sure which model exactly this is because the customer, for some reason, decided to take all the stickers off. Um, but anyways, we're going to be using a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. Hopefully, someone will find this video useful. I mean, it's not the same model as everyone else's. But uh, <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead and remove all these screws. You want to keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, I put them flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So we got three there, three here, and four here. All right, so we're just going to remove them all and do that. Again, we are using a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. All right, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, let's go ahead and continue getting all these screws out. Okay, and we're gonna get the four down here out. Just like this. All right, and then once we've done that, we can hopefully just pop the bottom cover off. <clears throat> Usually Chromebooks don't really have much upgradability, uh, but we'll see what it looks like inside. Oh, what is all that noise? Okay, so we got that. <clears throat> We're going to open this up. The customer said the fan's making some noise. Um, oh, no, it's turning itself on. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like about Chromebooks. What's the point of having a, or does this even have a power button? Oh, I hear the, the fan making some grinding noise. Oh yeah, there is a power button on the side. What's the point of having a power button if you're gonna turn yourself on? I don't, I don't really understand that, but okay. All right, anyways, we're gonna pop this out. So I get my fingernails in the gap and then I'll push on the um, palm rest, not on the trackpad, okay? And hopefully, there we go. You can see we can just pop that out. We're gonna go along the other side. Same thing, avoid pushing on the trackpad. So we're gonna kind of try and go around it. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna now close the screen. I'm gonna rotate this and we're gonna try and pop this out. I'm gonna run my fingernail along here. All right, you can see it comes out pretty easily. I'm gonna rotate it to the other side. <clears throat> Same thing while kind of opening this up. Run my fingernail along there. Again, you can use plastic pry tools. You don't have to use fingernails. Um, but that's what works for me, and that's what I have on hand, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and pop this side out, or the back. Uh, let's see if we can do the same thing. We're kind of pulling it open, and we're just going to go along. And a piece of plastic just fell out there. I think that's the side that they dropped it on. You can see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that is the side they dropped it on. So if you look at this, there's a big dent right there. <clears throat> and that's why that thing fell off. Anyways, <coughs> oh, God, why is my throat? Okay, so there's the inside of that. Okay, um, here's the battery. If you need to replace that for some reason, um, is there a model number here somewhere? Here you go. L18M4PG0. That's the model number. And you can see even the battery rating and things like that. You can actually sometimes get higher capacity batteries. Um, all right, there's nothing replaceable here. It looks like the memory, the RAM, the SSD is all soldered to the motherboard. I doubt there's anything removable underneath. You can redo the thermal paste if you want, and you can replace the wireless card if you want. Um, this is likely the trackpad cable, keyboard cable, battery connector, of course, um, speaker here. Okay, the wires go underneath the battery and then go up and both connect right there. You got this connector for the I.O. board as well as this one. So both connectors go to this for the power buttons as well as the micro SD card slot and the USB-C port, it looks like. Yep. All right. So because we don't really have anything that we need to remove the battery for, I'm not going to be removing that. The customer just needs their fan to be taken a look at. It's making some grinding noise. Hopefully it's just a grease issue, but I'm worried it might be because they dropped it and then we might have to buy the uh, fan. Um, the fan on this model is pretty expensive though. All right, there's the LCD LVDS connector. If you're going to mess with this, it's very important. You disconnect this battery cable first. Um, you probably will have to take the screws out and then kind of pull it out. And then you can undo um, this cable here. Um, this has a little flip latch. Again, you don't want to mess with that unless you've disconnected the battery first and then press and hold the power button 15 seconds or longer. All right, that's very important. Again, 15 seconds or longer after the battery has been dis disconnected. I'm gonna switch over now to a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver and let's go ahead and remove the screws that are holding the fan in place. Let me actually zoom in. Whoa, was my, why is my 
thing like falling over. Hold on, let me tighten this up real quick. Okay, sorry. I think you just shot my word looking at my legs, but whatever on my crotch. All right, anyways, um, now this thing is not aligned properly. Okay, let's go ahead and take the fan out. So I think we have to remove both of these screws. Okay, again, keep them all in order. And then you can see we can lift this up. We are going to have to take this connector out. Also, there's a portion of the fan that tucks underneath this piece. So you, when if you notice, I rotated the fan out. Right, we're gonna grab this and kind of just wiggle this connector to pull it out, and there we go. And you do wanna be careful pulling this out because again, the battery is connected right now, so you don't wanna end up shorting anything over here. All right, we're gonna now set the laptop aside and we're gonna see if we can add some grease to this fan. So this fan, oh, they have a model number here. Oops, sorry, my hair is going in there. The model number is right here, NS85C18. So if you need to replace the fan, that's what the model number is. And it looks like this, okay? All right, then there's some other numbers here that you probably won't need, but just in case someone wants to see it. All right. Okay, so the way we're gonna open this fan up, we're gonna have to use a razor blade. Okay, and hopefully we're gonna be able to repair this fan. There's no guarantee here. Okay, there's plastic here, here, under these um, things. And so we're gonna have to peel up the adhesive, the, the tape here. I'm gonna use this plastic razor blade to try and get underneath. Hopefully, I don't know, it's kind of in a difficult position because all these little rubber pads. All right, and now let's go ahead and try and peel this up. All right, peel that back. There we go. Okay, so now we have access to that one and we're gonna to have to do that with the other one over here. Okay, and we're gonna peel this up. Um, this thing, this adhesive sucks. It just tears. I mean, you know, this adhesive, it's, it's terrible. Get it? Terrible. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and see. Was there even one here? Um, oh, there's not even one to cut there. So we'll leave this here. Okay. So we got this side. One, two, three, four. Okay. That should be all of them. So let's go ahead and peel this tape back up. Okay, then we're going to cut the little plastic thing tab off here. So this little piece here, we're gonna cut that off. So I'm gonna get the razor blade here. And what you wanna do is you wanna actually slide the razor blade to cut it. You wanna use it to slice it. You don't wanna try and just force it through. So we cut that one off. There's one down here in the middle. You wanna be careful again for these cables as well. You don't wanna cut that, all right? And you just slide it as you cut it, and there you go. Okay, we got the other one over here. Same thing, just hold the fan in place and just slice it, slice it off. All right, then we got another one over here. Hopefully you guys were able to see all the things I cut. It's hard to focus on what I'm doing, okay? While I'm doing the work, it's hard to focus what I'm recording, I mean. Okay, then we got the circle one here. Oops, sorry, there's a circle round one here. We're gonna cut that as well. Pretty sure we have to cut this. So, go ahead and cut that. I don't know if I'm having a customer here. Somebody, give me a second, let me check. All right, sorry about that, I'm back. All right, let's see if we can pop this thing off. So, oh, we do have to actually peel this tape up because it's holding the metal plate in place. Sorry, okay, so let's peel this up. And we do have to peel this one as well. I'm just going to use my fingernails because the razor blade didn't really seem to help much there. So scrape that up and then peel it back. All right, let's see. Can we separate this metal plate now? So here you can see I pulled this back and the metal plate is separating from the rest of the fan. Okay, so we're going to work our way up and there we go. Okay, so now we got this off. Now can we remove this? Yes, we can. And... It has this very stubby post in the middle here. So there's these little parts that stick up to prevent pressure from pushing onto the fan. <sighs> All right. And now we're going to add some grease and hopefully that will solve the issue. We are going to um, use a paper towel and clean it up a little bit and then 
we're just going to add grease to it. Okay, so we're going to get the paper towel, clean this up a bit. Okay, next what we're going to do, let me probably zoom out a little for you guys. All right, I'm just going to use motor oil here. This is a 5W30 synthetic. You can use whatever, like moving motor oil, bearing oil, um, gear oil, something that's designed for moving parts. Don't use cooking oil. Don't use WD-40. WD-40 is not a lubricant. It actually will, if if anything, it will actually dissolve the, the grease and will pull it away from it. So you don't want to use that. All right, so we put the grease in there and drop the fan propellers back in. We're going to spin it a little bit. Okay. All right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take the propeller blades back off. You want to make sure to apply even pressure, pulling it straight up. All right. Another way to get the fan propellers out safely, um, if you can, you can kind of push on the outer edges here. Um, but this model is a little bit tricky, so it's actually easier to go from this side and grab this and then kind of just pull it straight up. All right. We're going to clean this off again. Okay. It's actually pretty clean, so it's probably just the grease on here. There's not enough um, because the fan is so thin, all right? Kind of not a very good design. Anyways, we're going to put grease back in there, okay? And we're going to put the propellers, propellers back on, just like that. Okay, we're going to spin it around. Good. Spins really nicely. And then we're just going to reassemble this thing. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, let's put the grease away and let's put the fan back together. We are going to have to use some tape to hold the fan back together. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. There's already some tape here at the bottom, so that's good. We might not, we might not need to put too much tape, but uh, yeah. Okay, so line this back up with the little pieces that we cut off earlier. Okay, uh, it's hard to do this, this so well, I'm going to pick it up. Okay, so line that up. And then make sure to get this all pushed into place so that everything is nice and flush. All right, there we go. Make sure that's all in. And then you can actually use this tape to just wrap it and it should hold itself together. We're going to wrap this tape as well. Okay, and for the tape, you actually want to pull it up. All right, pull it tight and then wrap it over so that it holds really strong. Okay, uh, we can add a little of tape over here and a little tape over here just to help with it because those pieces, there's no more tape since we peeled it off. So let me get some tape and scissors. I'm gonna use some thin packaging tape. You can use whatever you got. All right. Don't use electrical tape because electrical tape becomes gooey and then it loses its grip after a while. Um, but yeah, so we're going to, I got a small piece of this tape. I'm just going to cut it here. Okay. Then what we're going to do, we're going to just stick the tape, wrap it over here, wrap it over the edge and then tape it over the top. All right. And that should just prevent it from peeling back up. All right. Make sure it gets a good grip and we're going to put a little on this side as well. This side you can actually put like way more so i'm just going to put this whole big piece here all right so we're going to stick that on top like this and stick it on and just wrap it over all right so now the fan is repaired okay it spins nice so if it still makes the noise then most likely it's something with the case is pushing on it especially since they dropped it and it got bent so hopefully that's not the case, but uh, we'll find out once we get it all back together and power it up. All right. The fan noise you probably won't be able to hear, so I'm probably not going to show that in the video. Um, but uh, we'll see. All right. So make sure also that you put the connector back the right way. If you get a new fan, you don't want the connector to be upside down. It's very easy to accidentally twist it the wrong way. So they put a white mark here so you know which side is up. And when you buy a replacement fan, it might not have that. And as you can see, the gold pins are showing up on top. So let's go ahead and get the connector back in first. And I like to, once I get it in, pinch the two pieces together like this. All right, so it's not pushing the connector off the motherboard. Then we're going to rotate it in this way, okay? 
just like that. Get that all lined up and we'll get these two fans into place. That one and this one, good. All right, and there's only two screws in here, so that's kind of weird. Hey, where'd this junk come from? So um, let me actually get that gunk out of the fan. I don't know where that came from. All right, let me actually blow the rest of the gunk out of here. Okay, so there we go. We got the fan reinstalled. Let's go ahead now and put the bottom cover on and we should be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the bottom cover. We're gonna zoom out again. Oh, the tape, my camera's not aligned right now. Let me fix that real quick. <laughs> Too much. This gooseneck thing is a little finicky to work with that I'm using. All right, so sorry about that. You're gonna have to stare at my crotch a little bit. Why is it falling over like that? Okay, give me a second. I'll be back. All right, there we go. I'm back. Hopefully that is good now. Let's go ahead and get the bottom cover. Just line it all back up. And you can go ahead and actually just push everything back down. It should all click into place. Okay, I'm actually pushing it slightly in as I push it down just because that's the way the clips are. Um, designed they're like clipping like this so you kind of want to push this so it kind of goes back a little bit all right let's go ahead and get all these screws back together and we should be good to go we'll just power it up and make sure the sound is pretty quiet um, but yeah other than that that's all there is to it thanks for watching hopefully this video helped you guys out let's see this one clip because it's broken is having some problems staying clicked together but uh there we go all right Anyways, you're welcome to stay as I get the rest of the screws back in and power it back up. But again, that's pretty much all there is to it. If this video helped you out, again, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, the fan, I think the last time I checked was more than $30. So hopefully this repair works because that'll save you um, that having to buy a replacement fan, and it also have to and it'll also save you the time of waiting for the replacement parts to arrive, so that you can continue using your computer without any issues. All right, last two screws. Okay, last screw. All right, and there we go. Let's go ahead and open this up, power it up, and see what we got fan-wise. I don't think any of the rest was broken. It's powering on, so let's see here. I think I already hear the fans like way quieter. Yeah, so I don't know if you can hear the fan. <laughs> it's way quieter now, so I don't know if the, the camera picks it up but it's definitely quieter. I can point the exhaust to the side of the microphone. I don't know if it will blow it, but yeah, it's a lot quieter now. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop it. Bye.